It's been a busy news day for the WTA. After just seven months, Naomi Osaka has caught a quiz with coach Jermaine Jenkins. Osaka broke the news in this tweet that read, Writing this to let you guys know that me and Jay won't be working together anymore. I'm super grateful for the time we spent together and the things I learned on and off the court, but I feel like now is the appropriate time for a change. Appreciate you, forever worn by you, Nat and Jordan, lol. Thank you for everything, it was a blast. Jenkins also confirmed the news, saying, Thanks so much for the opportunity, Naomi. It's been great to know you as a human and a tennis player. Super grateful for our time together. Wishing you and the team all the best. See you soon. The two first began their partnership in March after Osaka infamously split with Sasha Bayan. The results with Jenkins weren't as successful as with Bayan, with Naomi's best results being a semifinal appearance in Stuttgart. I think this decision was for the best because although Naomi had fun with them and all, their chemistry off the court didn't really lead to the same results on the court. This split clearly isn't as hard on Naomi as she even went official with her boyfriend rapper YB and Corday on the gram. Moving over to a famous coaching duo that has reunited, Simona Halep has announced that she and Darren Cahill will work together in the 2020 season. Halep made the announcement on Twitter by video and here's what the Romanian said. Hi guys, I have some exciting news to share with you. After a year without him on my team, I'm happy to announce that Darren will be back by my side next season. So, D, last time I killed you and I'm planning to kill you again. Welcome back. Can't wait to finish what we started. See you soon. The pairs worked together for a total of four years and split in November of last year due to Keho wanting to spend more time with family and do more tournament broadcasting. This news isn't a surprise for me because even though they did split, Keho was always very supportive of Simona in all of her 2019 tournaments, and I'm glad to see the successful duo back together again. Our final story of the day is also our biggest one, with Kim Kleisters announcing her return to the sport of tennis. Kim broke the news on Twitter in an emotional video detailing her reasoning for making such a return at 36 years old. What do I really want from life? For the past seven years, I've been a full-time mom, and I love it. I really, really do. Did I get style? Oatmeal mats, not a ballet. Yeah, pack them. But I also love being a professional tennis player. Kim Clasters lets the emotions run free. Just also talked more about her decision, telling the WTA Insider Podcast, I don't really feel like I want to prove something. I think for me, it's the challenge. I have friends who would say, I want to run the New York Marathon before I turn 50. For me, I still love to play tennis. Whenever I'm at a Grand Slam playing the Legends and somebody asks me, hey, do you want to hit some balls? I'm the first one to be like, I'll hit. I'll be the hitting partner for your practice today. I still love playing tennis. The love for the sport is obviously still there, but the question still is, am I capable of bringing it to a level where I would like it to be at and where I want it to be at before I want to play at a high level of one of the best women's sports in the world? I don't feel like I need to prove anything, but I want to challenge myself and I want to be strong again. This is my marathon. This is where I'm saying, okay, let's try this. Kim initially retired in 2005 at age 23 due to injuries and wanting to start a family. After she did the latter, having her daughter Jada in February of 2008, Clashes returned to the tour with a bang, adding three more Grand Slams to her total. In 2012, Clashes said she was done for good, leaving the game after the 2012 US Open. Within the WT podcast, Clashes revealed that she contemplated returning for the past two years. The 2017 Hall of Famer also says that the past few months have been tough and it won't be easy coming back. However, she says that even if her return isn't successful, the entire process would be worth it for it brought her back into a good routine. I have to admit, when I first heard that Kim was coming back, I was a bit skeptical because coming back at 36 years old after a 7 year hiatus is a tough feat, especially with new talents such as Bianca Andreescu and Naomi Osaka emerging. 
Also, Marion Bartoli announced the comeback of her own last year, but stalled those plans because it was just too difficult. I do think Kim can make a successful return, but like she said, it will require a lot of hard work. Someone said that it would be funny if Kim and Serena had a battle of the mothers in a major final, and I for one would like to see it. Agawit Ronsko may also make a similar announcement to Kim's as well, with this post teasing a possible return. Are you surprised by Naomi's split or did you see it coming from miles away? Also, what's your reaction to Kim Class's return? Do you think she could win her fifth major title? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below and subscribe and click the notification bell so that you get notified whenever we post new content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time here on Grand Slam Tennis News Today.